What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Hershey RV Show in Hershey, Pennsylvania, America's largest RV show, and we are taking a look at this super cool and interesting Terra Rover. So they got a lot of these Rover brands of RVs just lined up across here. I've never actually seen one of these products before. In the 3,000 reviews I've done, um, I've never seen one. And I see some things that are kind of similar, but some things that are very, very unique, including this front windshield. Now with me, I have Jim. He's with Intech Trailers. Jim, do you want to kind of give me an idea of what we're looking at? What's, what's so special about your product that makes it stand out? Intech, for being a relatively new company, 13 years old, um, we have decided we went into the RV business back in 2016. Where we got a reputation initially was in 2010, uh, we actually started building fiber splicing trailers and then about uh, a year into it, we got into the motorsports trailer business. So we're known as kind of the Cadillac of the high-end car hauler business, enclosed car hauler. So uh, folks with Lamborghinis, Porsches, uh, race teams, that kind of thing, if they wanted a nice, well-built aluminum trailer, they bought an Intech. So in 2016, uh, we decided to get into the RV market. We're uh, and tried to bring a level of difference and quality to the industry that maybe it hadn't seen in quite a while. Um, and just to give you a quick background on the company, we've got roughly about 310 employees. And the way we're different is that every single one of our employees, from the top to the bottom, we are paid very heavily based on profit sharing. So it is important for each one of us, whether we're in purchasing, sales, service, uh, whatever department we're in, to make good decisions and to build a quality trailer because the guys on the shop floor understand the, fa the, 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 the price of sending a trailer out that has warranty issues and what it's going to cost us in the back end. So we try to build it right on the front end. Uh, where we're, again, where we're just a little bit different. Number one, we're trying, we're trying not to be uh, a company, uh, say another Me Too company. So mm -hmm. as, uh, as what you've seen here with this tilt forward design on the front cap, you know, a very different look, an automotive style three-ply laminate windshield that, you know, it's got a heavy duty cover on it for traveling going down the road, but it give, gives the trailer a totally different oh, look yeah. and an incredible view when you're on the inside of the trailer looking out. So we've done a nice job of hiding our LP tanks under the, uh, behind the fiberglass enclosure here. And one of the big things you can see right here, this is all uh, welded aluminum cage. So our entire, uh, entire trailer is 100% welded aluminum. And uh, it is not only just the, the frame itself, but the, actually the entire body of the trailer. So we actually, we, so we build the frame in-house. That's not something that all companies do. We, so we want to be able to control the quality, uh, number one. And number two, so when we build the, uh, the, the frame of the trailer, the walls and the ceiling, which are all 16 inch on center aluminum, we actually build that separately. We pick it up, set it on top of the frame, and weld it all together so there's no staples or screw holding this together. One thing that I think is kind of cool too, at first I was looking at this as just general reinforcement, but this is actually designed for weight distribution setup right it there. Is. So they've reinforced the A-frame so you can add weight distribution. Because typically on aluminum frame, you have to be careful of the crush factor, crushing Absolutely. the frame. Absolutely, and, and aluminum is a softer metal. Now, what's what's great about this frame here on this on this particular trailer is this, tra this, is this tube is called a double hollow tube. So it's a two by six double hollow. So it actually has a cross member built into this, not just a hollow aluminum tube, plus the wall thickness of, of the wall thickness of each tube is 3 16 wall thickness. Same type of aluminum we use on our high-end car haulers. So it's a very well-built trailer. Very nice. So. Um, Sidewall construction. So uh, you already said it's aluminum. Mm -hmm. So what, what about the exterior and inter interior sheathing? Because this feels like aluminum as well. Well, it's a, is that... this, is, this is actually a fiberglass. Okay. We do build a combination of aluminum and fiberglass trailers. The, the Terra and our Soul line uh, uh, all re and the Luna line all represent a fiberglass exterior. So this is a fiberglass then it has an Asdell composite oh, back behind that. So now, one thing to keep in mind, there, and there's no wood in, in the exterior of this trailer, The every single cutout on the wall, whether it's a window, a door, uh, whatever, the, whenever there's a cutout, no matter how small it is, it is 100% framed in aluminum. Okay. Very different than what you're gonna find on the, from a new Traditional, manufacturing, yeah. manufacturing standpoint. Okay, so, very good. Uh, I guess from a, a suspension perspective, what's different with your suspension on here? Is this torsion? We use all torsion axles. Again, the same, that's the uh, same thing we use in our car hauler side. Um, to, to get the lift of the trailer, we actually adjust when we buy it from, from the axle company, Dexter, mm -hmm. we adjust the torsion arm so it gives you the maximum clearance on the outside of the trailer. Very nice. Now, the, the Terra does have fully enclosed and heated uh, compartments on the, on the uh, water tanks on the bottom. Um, it is heated by three sources, by the, uh, by the furnace, it's got uh, tank pads on the bottom, 
and uh, of, the, of each tank and it's also got line heaters for any fresh water line that is under the floor so those are all well protected uh, from freezing. Very nice. I like the fact you're using a legless awning up top. Nice LED scene lighting that goes around it as well. Those are very, very bright lights. I've seen those before. Exactly. You have your stabilization jacks going around as well. Scissor style jacks. Yep. I see you have an outside yeah. kitchen here. Slide out kitchen here with a griddle. There's a quick connect for your LP right here. Very nice. And this table actually is a table and it's something that we make. We make in-house. And it's just actually stores right here on the side wall. So if you have an outside prep area for mm -hmm. when you're gonna be cooking. I love the kitchen. I have one suggestion. If they could integrate like a gravity sink or just something in there for and a little sprayer sure. attachment. That'd be really nice. I'm, I'm a huge fan of outside kitchens, but I think what completes them is some type of a sink to wash your hands, something like that, especially if you're cooking burgers and things. But overall, it's really nice. Great execution. Yeah. I love the slide out. Yeah, and the pneumatic cooler is designed where you can take it out and then use it if you want to take it on a trip in a car or whatever. It's a, it's a, and it serves as a freezer as well. Mm -hmm. which is important because in some of the trailers with smaller refrigerators this happens to have a larger refrigerator in it some of the units with smaller refrigerators this makes for a great area for a freezer that's very cool now i see something going on back here your uh, your rear bumper is interesting it looks beautiful it's very very nicely integrated into the rv exactly and again that's something we build in-house this is part of our rover package and this kind of goes across some of the product uh, the, the fiberglass product line so it gives you the tube bumper on the back gives you the off-road tires gives you the more aggressive graphics on the sidewall. Nice higher end LED strip lighting as yep. well. It is yep. prepped for a backup camera also. It is, and you've got a receiver on the back, 175 pound okay. receiver. For an accessory rack, right? yeah. Sure. Very cool, let's check out this side, and then we'll we'll hop inside and see what it's about. Is this just general storage? It is. Okay, it is. what about this area? Probably under the bed, right? Yep, that's again, that's probably, again, just additional storage oh, yeah. under the tree. Oh, I like the, uh, the rug type material you have down here. That's well, nice. Well, you'll notice, and that's a, it's called an infinity woven flooring. Uh, and that's the name brand. Great thing is this is used heavily in the pontoon industry. Mm -hmm. So it's a PVC coated, a polyvinyl coated flooring. So uh, very durable, able to withstand a lot of moisture. I can actually pour a cup of coffee on that and clean it up, which very is nice. great. Again, you can definitely see the aluminum frame going down. A lot of reinforcement, very cleanly yep. done as well. You have an on-demand water heater system. Yep, just went to that this year. So you've got a solar port on the sidewall. Keep those batteries and then, maintained. Yep. And then you've also got a solar port on the roof uh, if you know, we have an off-grid package available, but if a customer wants to or wants to do it after the fact, there's a solar port on the roof so they can wire it in after the fact. Very good. Yeah. Don't know if we have much room to squeeze around here. Right. Power front tongue jack, of course. Yep. Beautiful. All right, let's hop inside. One okay. Thing I like to... Okay, so one thing that uh, Jim pointed out real quick before he stepped in was even though the step itself is your standard steel kind of deploying step, the big problem people typically have with these is they feel very springy when you get on them. Jim just demonstrated how that's not the case with their RV. Yeah, it's not the step. It's the step. I'm jumping on this thing. Steps. You'll notice yeah. the step's not moving. It's the trailer. Yeah, it's typically so. because they tie these steps to an I-beam steel frame that flexes, and you're exactly. seeing the flex there. Absolutely. Great job. So this is called the Willow. Right. Again, Asdell. Do you use Asdell on the outside and inside? Just on the outside. On the outside, okay. Yeah. Stepping inside, they got that same marine grade flooring in here. Now I'm gonna pan over to the right so you can see what makes this thing stand out when I walk by it. That looks like the windshield on a class A motorhome. Exactly. I mean, it is huge, yeah. very panoramic. If you were parked in front of something beautiful and scenic like a lake or the mountains, this is where you want to sit in the morning, have your coffee, work, whatever you're going to do, and then just look out at the beautiful scenery. That is absolutely gorgeous. And it's corner to corner. Beautiful, beautiful. And you'll notice that I think probably one of the bigger things, you know, how, how open this trailer is for mm -hmm. not having any slide outs. Intech does not manufacturing, does do not offer any slide out options. But despite that, this trailer feels wide open. Yes. The great thing is too, you, know, you can see about five people here. Nice thing if somebody's sitting at the front and they want to get out, all we have to do is swivel the table oh, and the cool. customer can climb right out. What's nice about this is not a lot of manufacturers of towable trailers execute this end kind of wraparound booth very well. You guys have, have nailed it. And I would honestly say, I, I don't, I'm not afraid to call out other brands, Airstream does a great job with this, but you guys have one-upped them. This is, this is absolutely a better, more ergonomic setup than an Airstream. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, and the windshield, like you had mentioned, it is a three-ply laminate automotive-style windshield. So it, it does have a heavy-duty cover to protect it going down the road. 
But if you ever do get a star in it or something like that, you can take it to a windshield plate in the place and they can repair it, repair it just like they would a car windshield. Very nice. And then over here we have blackout roller shades. Yep. Everything no, no shade. weird valances going around. Just no. look nice and clean. Very clean. Yep. Beautiful here. Uh, they have the bungee cords to kind of or help stabilize anything that you have up there. Yeah, Speakers and one in the thing back. where Intex a little bit different. You know, we do man we do manufacture all of this in house. Okay. You know, most manufacturers are buying their cabinet doors and kind of thing. We we do manufacture all of this product in house. And yep. they've got nice supports, magnetic latches, closers on them, heavy duty magnets, which I like, and they're all self and they're all self closing. Yeah, very nice. So. Over here, you got a hook for some coffee cups, pans, or towels, wherever you want to put. Just don't do it above your stove. Yep. Two burner Dometic cooktop. Yeah, this a is high a great little feature. Oven. It's a combination. It's a regular oven, but it's also a convection microwave as well. Very I nice. really love that. Is that just general storage underneath it, or it is, is that a, it's a drawer? Okay, very yeah. nice. Ten cubic foot, twelve volt only refrigerator. Okay, so I was about to ask you if it's a twelve volt. So this is a new Norcold twelve volt. Looks a lot like a gas electric, but it's twelve volt. On this side, you have your entertainment area, your TV mounted in place. It looks like it's on a swivel arm. It is. Which it is. Great spot here. I always like to call out my favorite spot for a coffee maker. Pretty sure that's where I put my coffee. Absolutely. I love how the drawers and cabinets are all flush as well. Beautiful. Nice soft closing. Love seeing that. Ooh, these look like pull-out. They are. Pull-out drawers, and they're also soft closing, along with soft closing cabinets. I really like what I'm seeing here. <laughs> all right. So, Jensen sound system. You have your fuse breaker panel up here. You have your power disconnect, and then you have your water water heater, water heater on demand. Yep. This is really cool from a ductwork perspective. So the AC is here, but it ducts out this way. Typically on a unit this size, they would just direct flush it straight down. Yep. But you actually duct it into the area over exactly. here. Exactly. It keeps a little bit quieter in the trailer and you can and you can obviously you can still dump it straight down, but it, it ducks it forward and it also ducks it into the bedroom as well. Yeah, that is cool. Now okay. most folks would think that these walls are are a fiberglass wall. Those are actually aluminum. I and thought we, they were aluminum. They're too cold to be fiberglass, yeah, but no, that's, that, that's part awesome. Of that, uh, we make all that in-house as well. You know what? I was expecting a wet bath. This yep. is really, really nice. So you have a huge mirror right here, huge window, blackout shade if you want the privacy. But you know what? If you're out in the middle of nowhere and you have mountains out there and no one's going to disturb you, why not enjoy the throne while looking at the mountains? <laughs> nice stainless steel sink. Plenty of storage in here. You got more storage up here. They've definitely done a phenomenal job of utilizing every nook and cranny for storage. I love this door. It feels like it feels like a marine door you'd see on a yacht. Very nice. I'm gonna come in and flip around real quick before we show you the room. This is gonna be your shower. So this is a beautiful shower. This the shower is actually surprising me. First of all, there's a big mirror here. Secondly, I thought that this was gonna be a wet bath. Exactly. And, you know, I didn't know what I'd expect here, whether it be a pantry or something else, but typically something like this looks like it would have a wet bath. So it's sure. nice to have independent shower and bathroom stall so somebody can take a shower while somebody's using the restroom and not right. disturb them. All aluminum, beautiful the curves, beautiful the fit and finish, the cuts, everything is just masterfully laid out. I love all this right here, how the door slides on this. Have you seen anything like this before from any other manufacturer? This is absolutely gorgeous. And then they have this one incredibly long duct up here, which is probably going to flush your cold air into this room. Exactly. They have even a nice yeah. little window at the top. More cabinet storage. And then they have more bungee storage over here. More storage here. Again, they, uh, they've really utilized every conceivable area for storage in this unit. Huge window. Two more windows here. Another window here. Really nice sleeping accommodations. Now, is there a way to connect the two together? There is not. Okay. There is not. Now, these beds are very different in that uh, they're not standard twin beds. They are an eight, they are an 80 inch long twin bed, but to 38 inches wide. Okay. Very so they're extra than wide. The average. Yep. So that's very cool really though. Love that. But again, this is the the way this is set up right here. As long as you're not looking for just one solid bed in the middle, this is really cool sleeping accommodations, and it's a ton of room. It's also going to be really easy to maneuver in and out of the bed because you're not trying to walk around it. You're just putting your feet towards the center. Um, if you want to cuddle, you just cuddle on a smaller mattress. <laughs> so the cuddle factor is still here. It actually gets you cuddling closer. There you go. Exactly. Yeah, it it yeah. builds relationships. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. So you got a big big closet right here. Nice hanging area as well. Super, super nice. I am really impressed. Thank you for taking time out of your day. I know that this show is going to get super busy very soon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I love this product. Sure, so. uh, question though, everyone wants to know pricing. What's MSRP on something like this? This is going to MSRP for around 78. Really? Yes. So is 
I'm not going to go over typical sales price, but is the margin sales price typically what people would expect in the RV industry? Or I, I'm trying to trying to not beat around the bush, but we all know yeah. that a seventy-eight thousand dollar MSRP for a Forest River unit actually is going to sell for like fifty grand. Is that typical of what you see here, or well, are these closer? Because just from the construction alone, it doesn't seem like you're building in as much margin for profit as some of these other companies. Correct. And Again, we're we're a little different. Again, I said we're not trying to be a Me Too company. We're building a very high quality trailer that, you know, obviously we know there's some manufacturers that are a little more expensive than us. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yet I think we compete very well in that arena. So price wise, I think it's it's going to be in this range. I mean, yeah, there, there's, there's going to be some discounts. Some savings available. So the reason why I say that is because um, when you told me the price, I actually thought the MSRP was going to be closer to ninety. Right. So seventy in that range seems like a sales price to me and I'm not even I'm not even kidding I, I I walk around a lot of RVs so what I've seen how you guys have built this aluminum structure the quality fit and finish what you've done uh, that's a pretty dang good bargain honestly absolutely it really is so that's Jim true. I appreciate it thank you so much guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to the channel leave a comment below about this RV first time I've ever filmed one and I'm really interested in hearing what you all my subscribers think about it thank you again Jim absolutely thank you